Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. A word to the wise, ladies. Those of you who are dating married men, here are the red flags for you. It's a red flag being involved with a married man. Number one, you're going against God. And number two, you're already on, on a slippery slope. Here's how you know. Here's how you know. In case you have been in denial, wishing and hoping and thinking and praying that he'll leave his wife just for you. No, something he'll never do. He will tell you that. He will tell you, I'm working on, I'm, I'm going to have a talk with my wife and, you know, and I'm working on it, but you got to give me time, baby, because he is, um, he's, he's keeping you on a string. He's got you dangling and he wants to make sure that you stay within reach when he has to get his needs met. You know, men like a little variety. So if you're willing to play, hey, brother man's ready for a day. Okay. And what he will do is tell you things like this. Listen to this. You know, baby, I really love you. You're a good woman. And I want you to be my wife real soon. But, you know, I got to go through that divorce first. Now, because of the kids, we agreed that we're going to stay together at least till they're in high school. The kids are three and four years old and you sitting up there waiting. You know, we have an understanding, but we don't have anybody call the house out of respect for each other and our kids. So here, I want you to dial this number. Now, they come across like they're being honest. I'm a married man, but I really dig you. And, and my marriage ain't nowhere. You know, we don't, I sleep in one bed, she sleeps in the other. Show you right. Yeah, you gonna really believe that one, ain't you? Because <laughs> you want to believe it. You want to believe it. That's the only reason. Ah, yeah, my wife and I, you know, we hardly talk. You know, we, you know, we don't like to spend much time together, but, you know, but when she's home, I just give her respect because I was raised to do that. So I'm going to need a little time, baby, but uh, I'll let you know when I'm ready to file for my divorce and then you and I can start planning our life together because you're the one I want. I go to bed with her. I'm thinking about you. Listen to this. When she and I are out at a restaurant, I'm picturing you sitting in her place. Ooh, I can hardly wait till I cut that loose because you're the one. And they'll say that crap month in, month out, year in, year out. Before you know it, five years have gone by. You ain't got a man. You got a piece of nookie. That's all you got that belongs to someone else. You on borrowed time. Seven, eight years go by. Well, it's not because y'all got such a wonderful relationship. It's because you're willing. You're willing to stay in the game. And that's all it is with him. It's a game. You're his toy. He gets to play with you whenever he wants. You get frustrated. You cry sometimes. You'll have a little argument and, and you're boohooing because you don't know, you know, uh, when he's going to prove to you how much he loves you. And, you know, and, and, and you want to have a normal relationship where y'all can go places and do things. Now, look, I told you. I, now, you got in this thing understanding. You know, now I'm, I need you to stand by me now. And you steadily going for it. Yeah. I mean, the years. Next thing you know, 10 years have gone by. You ain't got nobody. You ain't got nobody. And when he's ready for you, you open your door, you pop them legs, it's on and cracking. And then he makes sure he's out in time for dinner. And he gets home. Oh, he's in a hurry to get home. Yet their marriage ain't about nothing, right? But he in a hurry to get home. He's got to watch his time. 
all he's doing is using you to masturbate with. That's all. And you letting him and you letting him over and over and over while you we <laughs> He loves me. He loves me. He loves me. We under we have an understanding. You ain't got no understanding. He just got him a free piece of tail. You it. And that's all you are. Because you're willing to stay in the game and play by his rules. You will never, never get another one's lover that way. And it will always, you know, my mother used to say, the same way you got them, if you, if you end up getting one, the same way you got them is the same way you're going to lose them. Because trust me, if you treated on, cheated on someone else and played with you, he'll be cheating on you and playing with someone else. That's the nature of the beast. I hate to give you the bad news. I know those are bad tidings, not good tidings. But the good news is God can find your mate that will be faithful to you, that you can be happily married to and be compatible in every way. Hey, keep that in mind and start talking to God about finding real love for you. Here, God bless you.